Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to part 93 of Pokemon Emerald. Last time, I challenged the Elite Four for the third time on screen. This time, I'm going to be checking out the Shoal Cave, which is something that I didn't do in the main adventure simply because I forgot, which happens quite often actually when I play this game. I usually forget to go to Shoal Cave, just simply because of where it is. I, I mean, it's right above Moss Deep here, and that I think that might have something to do with me always forgetting to go there but you know it's better late than never i guess so you know what who cares anyways so yeah like i said it's right above moss deep and i am gonna just check out my team here for a second i will put my laptop at the front since she is my lowest level and i will give her the amulet coin so yeah there's a few battles to do here however they're gonna be insanely easy battles because all the pokemon are like in the 30s or something I don't actually know exactly what levels they are, but I know they're a lot lower level than my Pokemon. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll start off with this swimmer. What's up, girl? How would you like to take on the water-type Pokemon I raised? Um, I would have no problem with it since I'm going to demolish you. So, yeah. Seeking. Level 34. Yeah, my level 59 fire turtle is going to destroy your level 34 fish. So, yeah. So, there we go. Sea King goes down. And that's it. See, like, she's another one of those trainers that says lost it. Like, so many trainers in this game say that when they lose. Oh, I lost it. Like, yes, you obviously did. Ahoy, I'm a buff, tough sailor. I've braved the world's seas. Great. I've braved the Hoenn region, so yeah. Sailor Ernest. Yeah, like, I'm getting no experience for this at all because of how low level these Pokemon are, honestly. <laughs> it's almost a waste of time, to be honest, but whatever. I don't really like to leave trainers, like, unbattled. Like, there is there is some trainers in a route uh, next to Meteor Falls that I forgot as well that I'm going to have to go to at some point, uh, you know, and, and battle them. Anyways, Ernest, I beat you. You earnestly suck, man. And I, guys, to be honest, I'm very proud of that pun. And you, dude, like, why? You're adding me to my Pokenav? Like, I'm at the end of the game, bro. Like, what's the point of doing that? Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing any trainers, so I'm going to go over here. I don't think I spray Repel, which might be a good idea, because I'm about to go into cave. Or maybe I already have a Repel sprayed, actually. No, I don't. That's fine. Level 31. That's a pretty high level tentacle for the ocean. Uh, okay. Max Repel. Yeah, it looks like we have a double battle up there, so I'll be fun. I'm tired of swimming. Then get out! Why are you still- if you're tired of swimming, then why are you in there? Are you up for a battle with me? Like, that's kind of like- that's kind of like President Donald Trump saying, I'm tired of being the president and then running the next- oh, wait a second, actually, I forgot that the- that the, Amer that the American elections work differently than the Canadian elections. Yeah, because the Canadian elections, the, the Prime Minister can just keep running as many times as they want. But it's not like that in America. Anyways, I destroyed your love disc. Swimmer Tanya, you're too much. Yeah, I'm too much awesome, that's what I am. Uh, we got a double battle. Do I want to use Terragon or do I want to use Nightmare? It doesn't really matter because my team is like double the level of all these other trainers Pokemon, so it doesn't really matter who I use. I will go with Terragon. I've been using Terragon a lot since I got him, basically, but that's kind of the point. I don't know how I'm going to pull this off. There we go. I wonder what that item is. Hey, what it was it you throwing garbage into the sea? Um, no, man, that was Oscar the Grouch. Troppy is a Minetric. Uh, it would have been better to go with my our um, <laughs> um nightmare. Forgot his name for a second. All right, this is easy. Uh, go with Solar Beam, I guess. That might be actually stupid, but whatever. Whatever. 
doesn't matter, because, again, these Pokemon are insanely low leveled, so... That's gonna kill Tropius. Critical hit, which I did, did, probably didn't need. Actually, no, I no, I definitely did not need that critical hit. And Zatu. We'll go with another flamethrower. Diamondetric. Boom! Level 60! Alright, now every one of my Pokemon on my team are at least level 60, so that is awesome. It's about time. Holy smokes. And Machamp. Yeah, you know what? This is probably why I always struggle to get Machamp in my in my Pokedex. Because I always had trouble with that because I couldn't trade when I was younger because I never had a link cable. So I couldn't trade to get Machamp, and I, I wanted to see it in my, in my Pokedex, but I could, never could. I think this, my, this might be why. I just never battled these trainers that much when I was younger, and I don't really know why. It might have... I don't know, like... I, I I guess... Like, I just forgot, I guess, to go to this point. I don't know. I think maybe I did the first time I played the game. But I think after I found out that I couldn't... Wow, I did not need that critical hit. I think when I found out that I couldn't, like... I, there's a one purpose that I had to go for going to the Shoal Cave, which I will explain once I actually get in there. I will tell you why I'm here. Then tell me, what the heck? Oh, you weren't throwing trash in... No, I wasn't, man! I was bad... I was... Destroying trainers, just like how to destroy you guys. What is this? It is a big pearl. Okay, that is nice. I can sell that. Um, actually, you know, I'll explain now why I used why I uh, didn't like going to the like why I used to go to the show when I was younger. Uh, I, like I just explained on the champ, I tried to um, I like to I, one of my first saves of the game. I tried to like just see all the Pokemon in the Hoenn Pokedex, and I really wanted to see Snorunt, but no trainer in this game has a Snorunt, and. Uh, for, you know, uh, you know, because the clock base events were messed up in my game, I could never, uh, like, the water was never, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain when I actually haven't gotten in there yet, but, like, you know, there's certain points, there's a certain point, uh, uh to when you can go into the show, like, a certain point, like, what the heck am I trying to say? It's hard to explain when I haven't actually gotten in there. Inside the show cave, the water is raised when, like, at, like, certain points of the day, it, it, uh, the water level lowers and st stuff like that, and you can find Snorunt th th that way, but since my, the clock based events were always messed up in my game, the water was always raised, and I can never go to the bottom floor and find Snorunt. It's weird to explain that when I have and actually gone inside the Shoal Cave, and there's, what, what's the point of this space? Is there, no, there's no point, okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, I just made myself sound like a fool, but whatever. Uh, I want to make sure there's no more trainers that I'm missing. I don't think so. Um... No thing, nothing over here. Okay, no, I don't want to do this. Okay. Um, I already battled that guy, right? Okay. Did I battle this guy? I don't think I did. I heard you approaching, so I hung around for you. Okay. Tentacruel. Not worried at all. Nightmare can take this guy on. With a slash. But bam. I surrender. Well, you don't really have a choice, bro. Okay. Uh, let me see here. <clears throat> I believe that's all the tree. Oh, there's another double battle, right? I forgot about I, I remember. I do remember these girls, actually. Oh, uh, let me see. Let's go with Emily. Can you tell me where, what we're looking for out here? Um, why are you asking me that question? You're just, you're, you're just going to some random cave and you have no idea what you're looking for? Like, that's stupid. You have, you have a Swablu? Oh, how cute. I have an Altaria. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? I'm using Slash and Numble and I'm using Ice Beam on Swablu. And then I can actually explain when I was talking about the snort, the snore on thing. I made myself sound like a fool, which is par for the course for me. 
Oh, yes. Or, no, they didn't say yes. Oh, boy, I'm just stupid right now. Oh, we came sort of close. No, you didn't! You didn't even inflict any any damage on any of my Pokemon. You didn't even come anywhere close at all. Anyways, guys, this is the Shoal Cave. This is what I was talking about, like, three minutes ago when I was sounding like an idiot, okay? So, if, you're, if the clock is working in your game... Then, uh, I don't exactly know what time, but the water level will be low, and you can actually explore, like, the bottom floor of this place, and you can find wild snorunts. And that's what, and I could never do that in my game, because my, my personal save is the exact same, the exact same way that, that this game is, where the, like, since the clock-based events no, no longer occur, the water is always there, and I can't go on the bottom floor. So I always struggled with getting snorunt, uh, like, I, I never was able to see snorunt in my Pokedex. So, that's probably another reason why I, I just avoided this place, because I knew, I knew there wasn't any point. However, there actually is a point, because in part 90, I mentioned that there is a rare candy at this place that I purposely didn't get, because I was saving it for this video. I don't think I ever knew that there was a rare candy here until, well, until I was recording, like, before I started recording that, that video, part 90. Um, and speaking of which, actually, speaking of Snorunt... Because I will tell you, it's not a big deal now, but when I was younger, I was always annoyed how I could not find Snorunt in this game. Even even this, just battle one, I couldn't see it, right? So I'm going to just take a moment to find it on my Pokedex here. I don't actually know what number it is. Um, what no, wh Where are you? There it is. There you are. Yeah, guys. Yeah, it's, look, it says you can find one, find one right here, which you can, but... The, 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 the snow. The water has to be lower, which is impossible for me right now because like, the clock base events no longer occur. Anyway. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm only here for one reason, and that's the rare candy. I should probably... Um, I don't I don't think you can find Snorunts in this area right here. I think it's on the bottom floor, I'm pretty sure. I'm Yeah, no, I'm almost certain it is because... Yeah, okay. No, don't... Okay. Alright, I'm gonna spray repel here. Um... There we go. Okay. So there we go. And yeah, like I said, I'm only here for that rare candy. Which I don't know what I'm actually going to use it on. Um, so I've used a lot of rare candies on Swampert. Actually, all of them. I've used every rare candy in this game on Swampert. So maybe I'll just use this other one. On, like the one... I, I, I believe that's it right there that we just saw. So I'll probably just use it on Swampert as well, to be honest. Okay, so I gotta... You know, I'll probably explore this place a little more once I get this rare candy. There's probably, you know, there might be more items around. There we go. Now, I believe I've found all the rare candies in the game. Um, I think there might be... Just trying to think now, because that, that woman that I gave the Hearthstone to in Part 90, I believe she can give a rare candy too. Um, but I think all the actual ones that are hidden, I think, uh, I think I've found them all. So I might as well use this rare candy on Mudstorm, even though I... Did battle with Mudstorm. I don't really like using. I, I like using rare candies and Pokemon that have like next to no experience points, so I'm not wasting like you know. So I'm not really wasting a rare candy. And another big pearl. Wow, that is really nice. Okay. Um, I believe that's everything that I want to do here. Well, that's all we can really. That's all we really can do, to be honest. Uh, I, I could, could collect those uh, those blue things. Actually, I hold on. I actually went by those. Uh, let me see here. I will spray another repel. Uh, or maybe... Um, no, I think I saw one, didn't I? Yeah, right there. You can't really do anything with these right now. Uh, these are shoal shells. You actually have to... Um, the water actually has to be lower for you to be able to do anything with those. And since my, my clock doesn't work in this game, then the water will never get lowered, so I can't actually do anything with them. So there's really no point of having that. But I'm going to get out of this place and go to Rustboro, because that's where I'm going to be ending the video off. And I know I could use an escape rope, but whatever. Actually, I'm not even sure if I... But I, I think I have an escape rope. I should, anyways. Yeah, I have one. Whatever, I'm not going to use it. Uh, I believe this guy, actually. This is where you, you give him this... Oh, I gotta give him... Oh, okay. So you bring him four shoal shells and four shoal salts, then he will give you a shell bell. But I think the salts are the ones that are in the bottom part of the floor, which I can't get to. So, yeah. Anyways, here we are. We are outside the Shoal Cave. And like I said, I'm going to head to Rustboro. No, I did not mean to do that. 
Okay, I'm gonna head to Respiro. And I will... Uh, I'm gonna sell... I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna sell the HP ups that I got a couple videos ago and the big pearls that I got in this video. And I will be rich! So, Shoal Shell. <laughs> wow, that's actually stupid. Ten Pokemon dollars. Oh, that's crazy. Um, sell two of these. Boom. I wish you could sell your Moose but you can't. I just put that in my PC, and I'm, I'm never gonna use it. Um, two HP ups. I don't need those. Uh, that's it, actually. Do I have anything else I can sell? I don't think I do. I Actually, I can sell a lot of my items, but... Eh, who cares. And... I should probably heal. Yeah. So yeah, guys. Uh, and one more thing I'm going to do before I end the video. I am going to use that one rare candy on Mudstorm. Before I do that, though, I'm just going to check to make sure that it's not really that big of a waste. Oh, let me think now. I will use it on... Mm, my laptop. Because she has about the, the least amount of experience points. Yeah, I don't really want to use it on Mudstorm because I... I could get another level up out of that without you having to use the rare candy, so I'm going to use it on my laptop. So there we go. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. Um, the reason why I'm here in Rustboro is because next time, in the next video, I'm going to start doing the Gym Leader rematches. That is why I'm here in Rustboro. Because, if, you, if we check our Pokenav here, I can rematch... Every gym leader in the game. That is what the square Pokeball to the right of their name means. That it means that you can rematch them. So if we call Roxanne here, she will say, Jake, my gym is ready. Please visit Rustboro whenever you can. Little does she know that I'm actually there right now. So yeah, I can rematch every gym leader. So that is what I'm going to be doing for the next eight videos. I am going to be rematching all the gym leaders. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Peace!